Hi guys and welcome to this week's lesson of second grade worksheet lesson seven and let's first start with finding a pattern review which we did last week so let's start with number one how many pennies have the same value as six nickels so for every one penny it is equal to I mean every one nickel it's equal to five pennies so if there are two nickels, there are 10 pennies. And from five to 10, it's add five. So let's add five to the other numbers as well. 10 plus five is 15. 15 plus five is 20. 20 plus five is 25. And 25 plus five is 30. And the question was asking, how many pennies have the same value as six nickels? So when you see the six nickels, there are, 30 pennies. So 30 pennies have the same value as six nickels. Number two, how many wheels are on six cars? It's actually asking down here on five cars. So let's just cross that off and change it to five. Okay, so number of cars for every one car, there are four wheels. So if there are two cars, how many wheels do you think it'll have? Because it's double, you're going to add 4 more. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 4 is 16. And 16 plus 4 is 20. And there are how many wheels on 5 cars? So 5 cars is right here, and that would be 20 wheels. Next page. Alright, today we'll be focusing on bar graphs. Use the graph to answer the questions. All right, so for on this bottom, you can see the hours. And on the side right here, you can see the different people. Susie, Carl, Ben, Beth, and Ari. And this is representing how many hours of playing sports each week. So let's see the first question. How many hours of sports does Ben play each week? So Ben is right here next to the star. And you can see that the orange boxes, there's one and two. And when you look down here, it is at the two line. So that shows that Ben played two hours of sports each week. Number two, which two children play sports for the same number of hours? So looking at these orange boxes, which two people have the same amount of boxes we have Susie right here Susie played six hours so no Carl played you can see right here the eight lines up with this so Carl played eight hours Ben we said plays two hours and Beth she lines up with five and Ari also lines up with five boxes so number two is Beth and Ari because they both play five hours of sports each week. Number three, who plays sports for the most hours? So let's see who has the most boxes. We can see that Carl has eight boxes because it fills up to this line right here where the number eight is. So Carl plays the most sports. Number four, what is the greatest number of hours spent playing sports? We just said it, Carl spent the most hours and his number was eight, so it'll be eight hours. Number five, what is the least number of hours spent playing sports? So now we're gonna see how many, the least amount of boxes someone has. We can see that Ben only had two hours because his line, orange line ends right here where the two is. And that's the least amount compared to everybody else. So the least number of hours spent playing sports would be two hours next page all right bar graph continued now this is talking about books read each week and we have susie carl ben beth and ari again but now we're looking at this side to see how many books they read number one how many books does ben read each week so let's find ben on the chart so ben is right here and as his bars go up it's how many books he read on the side right here. 
So let's count how many boxes Ben has. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And when we look right here, he is at the top, and the top is 10 books. So Ben read 10 books. How many books do Susie and Carl read together? Let's see. Susie is right here, and she wrote, she read 1, 2, lines up with the second one. So Susie read two books. Let's write that right here. And let's see how much Carl read. Carl is right here, and he just read one book. So 2 plus 1 equals 3. So how many books do Susie and Carl read together? They read 3 books altogether. Who reads the fewest books? Let's see. From all the people, who has the least number of blue rectangles? And Carl's is the lowest right here at 1 book. So it'll be Carl. Number 4. How many more books does Ben read than Ari? So let's see. Remember, Ben had... 10 books because his rectangles are all the way up to where the 10 books is and Ari read Ari is right here Ari read one two three four five and her rectangles line up with five books right here so Ari read five so Ben had 10 and we're gonna subtract five because that's how many books Ari read and 10 minus five equals five so Ben read five more books than Ari did. Last page. Okay, here are some word problems. Each wagon has four wheels. If there are six wagons in total, how many wheels would there be? All right, so one wagon has four wheels, so that is one wagon. But if there are six wagons, let's add four six times. So four plus four plus four, plus four, plus four, plus four. So there are six fours. One, two, three, four, five, six. So four plus four is eight. Eight plus four equals 12. Four plus four is eight. Eight plus four is 12. 12 plus four equals 16. 16 plus four equals 20. And last one, 20 plus 4 equals 24. So if there are six wagons, they would be 24 wheels. Let's do number three. Eight people like red, 10 people like green, and seven like blue. How many people in all like red and blue? So we saw that eight people liked red, and we're going to skip green because it's not asking for green. And seven people liked blue. So let's add eight plus seven, which equals 15. So in all, 15 people like red and blue. That is it for today's lesson. You guys can slow down the video or pause the video and adjust it to you guys' speed and how you guys want to work. And you can go back and do the questions we didn't do together. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!